Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to my channel. Once again, it is Monday, the sun is shining and the skies are blue. Now, for today's video, guys, I thought it would be fun, as I do work in hospitality, and some of you know that, some of you know, some of you actually work with me that are probably watching this, so, um, and even maybe a customer could be watching. If it is, these aren't referring to you, it's just, you know, a fun spin on my day-to-day -day life, um, and I thought I would give you a five kinds of people or five customers that you get while uh, working in a restaurant and the hospitality industry. The first customer is the blind and deaf customer. Now, these people aren't actually blind, nor are they deaf. This customer is the customer that... So, you're on the door, you're hosting, you're greeting, you're speaking to people, you know. So this couple comes to the door. Hi sir, hi ma'am, how are you today? Hey guys, how are you today? Hey guys, can I help you? Would you offer a table? Hi guys, what can I do for you? They're now in the restaurant. And another member of staff goes over to them. Hey guys, how are you today? Like, for fuck's sake. Just answer us, say hello, speak to us. Don't seat yourselves. They are the worst kind of people, they just come in and then they're really rude the whole time they're there because you didn't engage with them when they first came in because they are blind and they are deaf. The second type of customer is the overcomplicated order. Hey guys, I would love to order a coffee, is that okay to do coffee? Of course we do coffee, what would you like? I want a extra hot, but not too hot, cappuccino, but no foam, no chocolate, and almond milk. So you'd like a cold flat white? Hi, um, can I order the octopus salad? But I would like no potatoes and no octopus. Oh, and can I add the calamari to it? Oh, and can you take away the lettuce leaves and take away the calamari and take away everything? Can you just bring me an empty bowl? The next kind of customer is the confused as fuck customer. Now this is the customer that has no idea what they want to order, but yet they want they want you to take their order. Ha, uh, hey ma'am, how are you today? Can I take your order? Oh, um, yes, um, sure. I'll have the, hmm, s uh, pea steak. Um, Pasta, salad, pizza. Should I just give you a few more minutes to decide? Oh no, 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 I'm ready. I'll have the... Um, um, the salad, uh, no, 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 the pizza. Um, 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 okay. Can you just give me a few more minutes, please? For real? I just fucking offered that 10 minutes ago. I've just wasted my life now. My section's got busy. I've got lots to do because you fucking didn't know what you wanted to order. Next time, be ready when I come and take your order or just say to me, I'm not ready. Can you come back in a few minutes? Thank you. The next one is the inconsiderate couple. Now, this is the couple that come in and you're lovely, you know, your restaurant is not too busy. And you've got all these lovely tables for four, for two, you've got some eights and some twelves, and you've got some bigger ones, some smaller ones, some higher ones, some lower ones. You know, you've got tables to cater everyone's needs. Yes, ma'am, sir, you may go, come in, take a seat, go anywhere you like. Now, what I actually mean is, please go on a table that's set for two people, so I don't have to do any extra work and unset a table for them. You to, for me to then to reset it, for you to then decide to move anyway. So, this couple, they're coming, they sit on a lovely booth of seven people. They sit down, you know, they're thinking, oh yeah, this is a nice, oh yeah, we'll sit here, thank you. So I now go over, I clear all the other plates. Hmm, actually, can we go over? No, you fucking can't, I've just cleared this fucking table for you, so you're gonna fucking sit here now. 
Of course you can now, go anywhere you like. Now the fifth kind of customer, probably, this is probably the one I hate the most actually. This is the customer that says their meal is perfect. Hey guys, how is your meal going? Oh, it is just amazing, thank you. I'm loving everything, it's all so good. Can you send my compliments to the chef please? Wonderful, glad you're having such a great time. I'll leave you to enjoy your meal. 10 minutes later, you're busy, so you're dealing with one of your other tables. Your, one of your colleagues is free, and you know, she goes over there and says, how was the meal guys in your No, it was fucking awful. The steak was overcooked, there was no dressing on the salad, and um, this wine's really shit. Oh, I'm really sorry, sir. Um, let me just go and deal with that now. Jamie? Yeah, I've been over there three times and I told me it was fine every single time. I thought it wasn't, but I tried to check. They could have just cost me my job, depends on the business you're working. I was super nice to these people. They just don't give a fuck. They're like, oh no, uh, 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 uh. Just come into my restaurant, sit down, let me take your order. If you have an issue, let me know, I will fix it for you. Just come, say goodbye and tip me. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. That is what a good customer is. But there are many kinds of customers that you will experience if you do work in hospitality. Those were a few of my favorites. Um, let me know down below if you've got a, a favorite type of customer that you do or don't like. I will see you all soon for another video. But um, in the meantime, please feel free to like, comment down below and subscribe. Making sure you press the bell and go follow me on social media. The links will be around here and also down there. And um, happy Monday. I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.